Hey everyone! Welcome to instalment three of Vlogember. <laughs> it's going to be all over the place because I'll just film bits when I can and then piece it all together. Um, but yeah, it is now the 3rd of November, hence the number three. Um, I've had a few people ask me questions on my comments. So I thought, well, because it's Vlogember, I will address the comments in my videos because I'm doing them day by day. So the first one was um, asking me if, you know, how I attach my every or how I get every labels for onto my eBay. So basically with Royal Mail, when you buy labels, you can do it through buying labels through your actual eBay listing. With every, it's a little different. You have to open an every account on their website and link your eBay to that account it's quite simple it's quite straightforward can't talk you through it now because i haven't got a computer in front of me and mine is already done so i don't think i could do it again anyway but it's quite straightforward all you need to do is link your ebay up to your every account and then whenever you make sales you can bulk upload onto your every account and um, you can edit accordingly on each one because sometimes it puts the wrong weight or um, whether you're getting a courier collection or you're dropping off and things like that. So you have to amend each one and then you pay for it. And then when you've done that, if you go back onto your eBay, you should be able to check and it should have uploaded all of your tracking for you, which is really cool. It's a really good feature and you can do them all at once. So it kind of makes it easier than doing the one listing at a time on the eBay site. I've also had a lot of people asking me why me and Rob don't drive. <laughs> There's a simple answer to that. When we were younger, both of us did lessons before we met when we were like late teens, but other things just got in the way, partying, having fun, spending our money in other ways. So it never really happened. We've both done lessons um, later in life, but just not kept it up. So eventually Rob, is going to drive because that's what we've both agreed but we've got other things we want to pay for first i have no interest in driving i always say i need a chauffeur i'm a chauffeur girl i don't drive <laughs> to be honest i don't think i could in all honesty i think the way i am now older i aren't as confident i get quite anxious and i just think my eyesight isn't as good as it should be so i probably shouldn't drive <laughs> So there's your answer in quick form. So I have sold my bundle of just the right shoe shoes that I've shown in a recent video for £30 plus postage. So real happy. These were a, a basically a listing that I packed up after I listed it. So I do this with some things because it just makes life easier. If I have breakables and I've got nowhere to store them, I will, if I have all the packing materials ready, I will pack them up and label them. So then all I have to do is put the shrink wrap on and do the label, which makes life so easy. And I'm real happy because this is under a kilo. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I have just sold this lovely brooch here for 15.99. So really pleased with that. I'll be doing a video, a separate video on what I've got for all the vintage jewellery as it sells. But this is going out tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Crazy morning. Nothing to do with reselling this, but um, I just thought because it's a vlog, I'll put it in. I've uh, just gone to the dentist with um, Hayley and she's getting her braces taken off next month so i'm real pleased um yeah so going home now just left Haley to go up to school and yeah i've got to get my parcels done and then we need to go and take some birthday cake to rob's grandma and granddad's and then hopefully we might go to a charity shop today <laughs> <laughs> we usually do, don't we? We usually do. But if not, I'll have some good content for you, don't worry. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've just literally walked a round trip of two, yeah, 
no, an hour. I've um, gone to the appointment. I'm just nearly home. Yay! <laughs> forgot to mention before I parceled this up that I've sold another vintage jumper out of the bundle that Rob bought me. So yeah, I've got an offer of £10 on this plus postage. Um, I will be doing a separate video on what I've made from that bundle, but just wanted to put that in here because it sold today and it's going out today. So some lovely people gave me some advice a long time ago. Jack and Emily, also known as the Global Thrifters. Um, basically saying to tell people what you do because then people tend to want to help you along with your business and help you, you know, achieve your goals and all that and I think that's really good advice. I was always a person that was quite worried about telling people about what we do because I was worried about getting hit or people judging us. Now I am more proud than I've ever been and our lovely friend who is one of our son's friend's mums, Rachel, gave these to Rob today. These belong to her dad and sadly he's no longer with us but she's got no sort of need to keep these. Um, and Rob is a massive Hull KR fan. Rugby, if you don't know what it is. I didn't know what it was before I met him. That's all I'm saying it for. I knew who Hulk KR were, but I didn't really know a lot about rugby or anything about it. But these are all a load of programmes that her dad, that Rachel's dad kept. And she asked us if we wanted them. So Rob is going to go through these. Some of them are from the 1940s and upwards. Um... There's some really good ones. I'm not going to touch them because I'm worried about damaging them. They've been kept in amazing condition. And I just want to give a big thank, big shout out and thank you to Rachel for giving us these because it's so lovely of you. And I know how hard it is to let go of things from your parents that aren't here anymore because my mum and dad aren't here. So I think this is lovely that she's done this and she knows what we do. So she's quite happy for Rob to sell some if he wants to. But, I mean, he may end up keeping a few because he's a KR fan and that's what they do. But, yeah, amazing. Look at this as well. The official programmes used to be 12 pence. This one on the top. Tuesday, the 25th of October, 1977. Craven Park Hall. Kick-off, 7.25pm. Sponsors of today's match ball and man of the match award, Northern Rock Building Society. Are they even still going? I think my first mortgage when I was in my 20s was with Northern Rock. In fact, I wasn't in my 20s. I was in my late teens. I was 18, 19. I'm sure that was with Northern Rock. Wow, haven't heard that name in a long time, so I don't think they're about anymore. But if you're watching this, thank you, Rachel. It means a lot. It really does. Um, I'm always astounded by people's kindness and how they want to support us on our journey. So, wow. <laughs> Just been in here and filled the trolley. <laughs> we are going to some other places and I will show you what we've got when we get back. Okay, we're home. A much better haul today. I think you can all agree. Look at this. Ignore that. That is not in the haul. <laughs> right, so a few bits of clothing. I've got a lot of bags today. Um, other bits and pieces, Christmas stuff. Right, so we'll get into it. Um, right, some of this, I think we paid £20 and I'm going to show you what we got for the 20 before I start anything else. So we got these books for my daughter. These are JK Rowling books. Um, we are collecting, trying to collect Harry Potters, but I aren't finding many at the minute. Um, so whenever I find JK Rowling books, actually Rob found these, I will add. Um, but whenever we find JK Rowling books, I kind of get them as well because I think they'll be a nice accompaniment to the bog standard Harry Potters you can get when we do get them. So we've got the Tales of Beetle and Bard. I think we've already got this one, but in a fancy cover. Um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Newt Scamander. 
and Quidditch Through the Ages, Kenilworthy Wisp, is that? Yeah, so they're for Hayley. Um, so these were in with the £20 spend. Also picked up some teaspoons because I don't know about you lot, we lose teaspoons. I don't know where they go. So I got six teaspoons. I oh, We've got these Beatles records. Now these are pretty cool. So this one is Beatles the Hits from me to you. And thank you, girl. Um, please, please me and love me do. On the Palafone, 45. Then we've got I Am The Walrus and Hello Goodbye. Palafone again, 45. And we've got Can't Buy Me Love. You can't do that. Palafone, 45. So I don't know how much they're worth, but we got those as well in with the 20. Um, right, what else? Oh, we got this. I love this. It's a planter, I believe, because it's got that in the bottom. Um, I think it's what you put fake flowers in usually, isn't it? But you can use it for any. I really liked this. I just saw it and thought that is really nice. And on the bottom, it says made in England, Surrey, Price Brothers, made in England. There are, There is a little tiny bit of chip in there on the bottom um but nothing major i think that's really beautiful rob got these clark shoes um i will be ribbing him about these um yeah we'll pick these up as well just men's clark shoes i got these lovely there we go sorry i was just flicking something off my screen these lovely christmas like doll type things i don't know what they are but they're in really good condition i just really like them i thought they'll do well as a pair so they were in with the 20 as well. So was this rucksack. I have been wanting a rucksack for when I can't take my trolley out. The buses where we are at the minute are absolutely chock-a-block busy. So when we go out places on the bus, I don't really want to be taking my trolley. So I bought this rucksack for that reason. So that is for me to keep. This is like a, a makeup carry bag with shoes all over it flip-flops and pumps i really like it um don't know how much that'll be worth but that was in with the 22 <coughs> oh excuse me I can tell when things are dusty i normally edit all this out but obviously at the moment i'm just trying to wing it with my videos then i got this east park usa bag these do pretty well from what i can gather this was in with the 20 as well it's in pretty good condition nice pattern on it so we've got those three bags um right what else did we get in with the 20 i think that was it for the 20 pound we picked this up for five pound this is a rum top um like i don't even know what you'd call it does it say what it is here anyway it's got this leaflet with it which is pretty cool yeah so you make make things in it it's got recipes and everything. I think it's really cool that it's actually still got that in it as well. Really good condition. It's a really nice one. It says rum top across it. I have never heard of this. Rob spotted it and he was like, oh, they're good. So we paid £5 for that. There's the lid. Yeah, it's lovely. Really nice. Um, We're going to do some research on this. No idea how much that is worth. Then... Rob picked up a couple of shirts. This one was 3.75. And yeah, it's this make. BC Ethic, is it? USA. Um, again, no idea how much he's gonna charge for that. Um, but all our prices are it's got a mark on it. All our prices um have best offer. And if you want to be nosy and see how much we put things on for, you can follow our shops. They're on my channel. Um, Thomas Burberry, £3.75 for this. I think it's a short-sleeved. Oh, no, it's a long-sleeved. Long-sleeved, so checkered shirt. That's really nice. That'll be going on Rob's. Uh, right, what else? Oh, I've got these Ted Baker bags. They're in pretty good condition, to be fair. I don't tend to pick these up anymore unless they are. 
um, there is, doesn't seem to be anything other than that, um, which I did see in the shop. This one was, it wasn't 175, I wish it was. This one was 450. There we go, for this little one with these lovely ladies on with the big umbrellas. And then this one was six pound, I believe. Um, it does have the burr there. Uh, yeah, six pound for that one. And it's floral, Ted Baker, London. Um, yeah, that's really nice. It's in really good condition as well. So I've got two Ted Baker bags there. Um, I picked up this. This was what was 175. <laughs> Um, it is a silver plated vintage ashtray. Um, I believe it is vintage. It's heavy. Um, says this on the bottom. Homemaker, silver plated and tarnished, protected. Do not polish. Clean only with soft damp cloth. Made in Japan. Yeah, it's nice that. I thought for 175 definitely picking that up. What haven't I showed you? Okay, so I haven't showed you these <laughs> candy canes. Yeah, they were $1.99. Pick those up. These are lovely. Don't know how much they're worth. £2.50. They're hand painted. So there's this one. Bunnies on a sleigh. Very cute. And this one is called Butty. And he's eating butties. He's got sandwiches. Um, these are really nice. This was two fifty as well. There's what it says on the bottom. Hand painted, more craft design, Blackpool, made in England. I think I'm going to pair those together, but I'll do a bit of research and see how much they're worth. Right, okay. So these are probably my spontaneous buy of the day. They're not sure whether they're particularly worth a lot of money, but I just really like them. We've got a Grinch jumper here. Really nice. I just thought, you know what? If it's not worth anything, I will keep this for Christmas. £4.50. Dr. Seuss. Um, it's got the Grinch label. I do believe this is a Primark, Primark jumper. Knew that when I bought it. Yes, it is. Um, I always check the inside tag, but with Christmas jumpers, it doesn't tend to matter so much if the design is good. I could possibly get 15 for that if I sell it, but we'll see. I got this for my daughter Hayley. She just loves Stitch. Um, so yeah, Merry Stitch Merce. Very nice. Grey sweatshirt. She doesn't like jumpers like this. She says they're itchy. So I have to find decent ones for her. Anyway, that was 450 as well. Um, another <coughs> excuse me, another Primark special. These must be really dusty because they're really getting on my chest. Okay, and this one was 4 50 This is a medium large. I'm hoping this is vintage. That's why I picked it up, but I really like it. Penguin, it's got all this lovely detailing all over it. I'll show you the label. It's made in the UK, Louise Fashions. Um, to me, it looks old and it's a medium large. Um, yeah, it looks old. I think it's cool. Maybe in Cloud Cuckoo land here, but I'm kind of hoping I can get 20 for that because it's a really nice one. We'll see. And then, oh yeah, these were part of the £20 as well. What Rob has got here, two Yuga Boss caps. Completely missed those two. They were hidden under my Christmas stuff. A light blue one and a beige. And then I picked up this. This is the last thing. This was 5 50 and it is an Anne Summers. It's an Anne Summers um, Christmas outfit with a hat. Um, yeah, it won't do massively well, but could get 20 for it. Uh, might end up keeping it myself for fun, who knows. But yeah, that's it. That's what we got. A decent haul, I think you will agree. Lots of bags. I always seem to find a lot of the same stuff. It's really weird. I'll come back with like loads of bags or loads of shoes or loads of curtains or loads of fancy dress or loads of Christmas stuff. Um, I mean, to be fair, I've done pretty good on the Christmas stuff today, I think. Let me know if you would have bought any of this. If you've watched to the end, thank you so much for supporting my videos. I'm really appreciating it. I'm loving doing these vlog embers. 
they are doing really well so thank you for watching um yeah if you watch to this point i want you to write ted baker in the comments let me know if you know about this um what is it called rummy top rum top not rummy top <laughs> i'm thinking of the game rummy cub i don't even know what that is to be fair but yeah let me know what you if you know about that because that's something that i've learned about today through rob buying that um and what you think about the beatles records i think they're pretty cool i love my teaspoons i'm hoping they won't get lost we will see anyway if you've enjoyed the video consider giving me a thumbs up my buy me a coffee link is in the description anyone that does that will get a shout out in one of my future videos and i'll see you tomorrow if not before i know i said i'd go live i haven't had chance yet but i will be going live at some point in november as much as i can at the moment things are crazy so i promise i will do it soon <laughs> it'll be a random time Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Be kind. See you on the next one. Ta-ta.